<laughs> this is called Cover to Cover. It was in Rattle Magazine. Uh, I'll bring it to you, okay, and you get a free hot plate too. Um, cover to cover. That's a reference to The Simpsons, by the way. Cover to cover. I don't collect them. They just accumulate. Tower higher into shoddy columns, climbing weirdly like crystal formations or pillars of coral. The thought of their weight crushes. Their coarse traffic of wars are thumbed through. Their long summers and snow. They weigh tons. They slide onto the stove, under the fridge, into the tub. They prop open windows, serve as coasters. They have traveled with me and slept beside me. They fashion a bridge to vanished rooms, sorrows, and suns. Lord knows why I haul them from city to city. They slip together like bricks. They become a wall. My greed, my fears, everything, nothing at all. Thank you. I gave a reading of that in the theater out in Colorado, and afterwards, uh, someone came up to me and said, you need to go to Ikea. Get, get, get yourself some shelves. I'm talking about what happens when you run out of shelf space and you keep accumulating books and they start going into the weird, it's like jigsaw puzzles. or Someone's double stacking around here. <laughs> My wife is an archaeologist and um, it doesn't only mean going to you know, fairly exotic places and sitting in a trench all summer, it also means going to these conferences, which are sort of like writer's conferences. These people who are, seem like they have such interesting jobs, um, are sort of milling around from talk to talk and be on my panel, and here's my card. Um, so we were at one in San Diego, and inspired me to write a poem uh, called At the Archaeological Institute of America's Annual Meeting. Oh, ungrateful hordes, Archaeologists mill through the hotel lobby like jammed cars, clogging doorways, aiming all ways, vaguely swerving clots of unflappable classicists, while, while elsewhere their counterparts, undertakers, are busy burying, they burrow to see what's still down there. To think such an awkward set of characters would meddle with tombs of emperors, queens, and epic poets. They hunt all summer long the long interred, gather smashed shields, pry seals from anterooms, blow dust from sherds, dive to black ships. Veering, talk to talk, they discuss ancient glory, building careers, then joining their quarry. <coughs> 